Hello everyone, Dr. Steve here from the corner of the treatment room here at Core Wellness and I've just got to clear something up about some things I've been seeing online about exercises that are good for sciatica and for low back pain and good for your hip joints and things like that and I've been seeing some really really awful awful explanations of some of these exercises and I just wanted to square uh, something out for you guys. Something you can do if you sit a lot, something if you do if you have sciatica, something if you do if you have low back pain or hip pain. One of the most common reasons for it is a tight piriformis muscle. Piriformis gets tight I believe in response to weakness of the deeper external rotators of the hip but we're not going to get into that. I'm just going to give you something that you can use to possibly relieve some pain throughout your day or maybe get rid of some of the sciatica that you may be experiencing. So the biggest thing is uh, we want to cross the leg like this and some of you may look like this when you cross the leg depending on your hip capsule and how tight it is but uh, regardless just let it fall as much as it will fall and the most important thing is to keep a nice flat back. Let me turn sideways here so you can see what I mean by that. The things I've been seeing online as good exercises for this, they tell you to, to stretch like this and that rounds your back. That doesn't do anything for your hips. If you just keep a nice flat back, get up on your sit bones and just simply bring your chest forward slightly while keeping a flat back, you will immediately feel it throughout the hip on the side where the leg is crossed and that is going to stress not only your piriformis but also stretch the posterior capsule, what's called the posterior capsule of your hip and that is an important capsule to have loose because that's what allows you to be able to sit down in a proper manner like so. If you don't have a, a loose posterior capsule then you're not going to be able to stick your tail out and sit down comfortably. Okay, you're going to sit down and go Kong! And when you do that, you slam your joints together, you slam your discs together, and you do damage every time you get up and down out of a chair in and out of a car. So, again, let's do the other leg this time. You're going to let it go as far as you can. And you're going to sit up nice and tall. And you're going to get on those sit bones, those butt bones. And you're going to keep your back nice and flat. And just very simply shift forward with absolutely no movement in the back. All of the movement comes from the ball and socket joints of your hips. And you can just hold it, take a couple of breaths there, and after the second breath, just as you exhale, just try and drift a little further. And you'll feel a nice stretch come through. This is going to leave, alleviate a lot of hip pain, a lot of low back pain, and maybe even some knee pain um, for, by virtue of some of the connections the knee has with the hip. So, uh, there you have it. Uh, just watch out for the shysters out there who are giving you things that are actually going to damage you. If you do this with a disc problem, if you do this kind of stretch with a disc problem, you're only going to make it worse. So, pay attention to the truth. Uh, watch out for shysters and uh, use your body as it was designed to be used. Thank you very much and you can visit us at gettoyourcore.com. Signing off.